good morning to you guys. Yeah, I know I'm still debating on what I want to say good morning or what's up. But anyway, I just feel it's proper because it's morning right now. Why the windows are thawing out. Dam wants me to go check on the, uh, the beaver traps at the dam. And I throw on my boots and we're going to go see if there's anything at the traps. So we're going across the first man-made dam, which is where the first trap is set at. And I don't see anything in that one. It has not been tripped. It's still intact there, so I guess I'll leave that one. And we'll head on to the other one. This is the third man-made dam, or you can, we, I guess we can call it crossing, because this is where you cross the pond at. And this is almost like a reveal party, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's nothing in that one either. Do you think maybe they're getting smart? Maybe so, huh? Well, we have one more to check. And see that, that pipe there, they'll probably try to clog that up. But we got one more to check, you guys. That water, I don't think it's really moving. But let's go check this last one. So the third beaver dam is in the woods. So I have to uh, go through these thorns, which I'm going to pause for a second because I don't want to get tripped up or poked. <laughs> okay, I made it through the bad part. Now let's... Got a few more here. Man. I don't hear any water crashing. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> this looks too familiar, you guys. <laughs> so they have uh, knocked it over and built on top of it, just like they did mine at the house. <laughs> wow. See that, you guys? Man, what a shame. You know what? I, I, I thought about this yesterday, too. You know, Dan, uh, he used some beaver lure on the trap. I said, you know what? You, you cheated, man. That's how you caught that beaver. You, you uh, got your human scent off of the trap and put a beaver sent on the trap and caught that beaver. And I, I'm assuming he did the same thing with this one, but it didn't work this time. <laughs> they, they must have gotten wiser. But uh, I don't know if if he wants me to, to reset it or what. I got to check with him and see what he wants me to do. So I checked in with him and, uh, you know, I realized I don't even have the beaver pliers with me. And he has them, so... I'm not going to be able to uh, reset it, but at least I got it pulled out. And really, right now, it ain't, I don't have the potato rake either, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. But he did catch something. <laughs> got a nice stick there, Dan. Nice catch, buddy. <laughs> Let me get that out of there and uh, guess I'm going to head on to the tractor. So I've been mowing some ditch banks this morning. Of course, got that side done already. And the insides of the fields I've already done, but I got to do the road side. I figured I'd let you see what I was doing while I'm waiting on this truck to go by. And it's going by right about now. Let's get back to it. Ah, oh, you're in the rear view. <laughs> I think I'll switch it up a little bit. Let you see it from this way. Of course, you can't see the, the mowing deck. But you can get a different angle anyway. Don't litter, you guys. I'm surprised it's not kicking out more trash than it is. Swing over and get this side of the road now. 
just a few sapling trees in this ditch, not many. The state this year actually, I don't know if they don't have the funds to mow with the long arm mower, to hit the ditches or what, but the guy who normally does it, he only mowed at the intersections this year. He, he didn't mow along all of the roadside, so. This is a ditch that I always mow anyway because on the right side is a grass field and on this, excuse me, on the right side over here is the cornfield and the left side is the grass field. I just switched, <laughs> I forgot I switched direction. Yeah, so like I said, I mowed that ditch bank a couple of days ago according to my mowing pattern. So I'm backing up now. Now as you can see, there's a lot of trash out there. If you haven't watched that video, why it's important not to litter, I don't even think that's what I named it, but it talked about littering. I was mowing the ditches and uh, <laughs> talking about littering. You should go check that out when you get time. Hear my little testimony. <laughs> I think we got that one pretty clean. Go on the other side of this driveway and start on this half of it. Got to get over off the road. There's a truck coming. Big boy, log truck. I need to, hey, I need to call that guy. Be like, hey, I got some timber for you to come pick up. <laughs> come get that, uh, them trees that them beavers cut down. <laughs> you can probably get some money off of them jokers. There's a mouse on the road. You see him? I don't know if you can see him. I can't zoom it in. But he's running for his life. There'll be a lot of mouses in the ditch. Oh, he run across the road now. <laughs> oh, man, there'll be a lot of mouses in these ditches. Running for cover, running from the hawk. Okay, so I'm done with these ditches. Gotta move on to some more ditches. I probably won't record on them. But this ain't the end of the video. You can believe that. <laughs> As I'm making this first ground pass, you can see that this field is in dire need of the long arm cutter. This side cutter I got right now, it can't reach those limbs. See, those limbs is is high the muffler, so I got to go around stuff like that so I don't run into it and, and uh, keep from scratching up the tractor like I said and see stuff like that right there that's where the long arm cutter comes in handy I got a picture from 2017 I'm gonna throw in here show you what it looks like and uh, like I said before I don't know if we're gonna hook up to it being that it creates another job like Danny would have to come behind me with the backhoe to clean up the limbs that it cuts because it cuts a lot of big stuff. So I don't know if we got time. That's the other thing about having time to, to get it out. We might. I'm not sure. I guess I had to talk with Dan about it. But yeah, I'm going to throw that picture in here. I think it's two pictures of it. Show you what it looks like. So yeah, I, I love operating that long arm cutter too. Dan tell me I be getting out of control sometimes, cutting down stuff, <laughs> cutting down trees like the beavers do. <laughs> but yeah, so this field here, it's not nearly as bad. It can use it, but if you look, you don't really see anything hanging low. Uh, most of this stuff is smaller stuff that I can take care of with this, with this side cutter. And so you can see what it looks like now before I mow it. Then we'll look at it again when I get through mowing it. Voila! So we got that mow to the best of this side cutter's ability. There were a few sore thumbs that I couldn't reach. Such as a limb like that one right there. I mean, I just barely couldn't get it. I wanted to reach out and, and grab it. Come here! 
<laughs> Made me want to go hook up to the long arm cutter. <laughs> oh man. Just got that ditch knocked out on the same field I was trying to reach a limb over there. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is it? About 1.30 now? Yeah, I guess it's about time to eat. I take late lunches, you guys. And you know what? I haven't even eaten anything today yet. Wow. Now, if I was fasting, I'd be dying right now. <laughs> How many of you know about that? Just as soon as you try to fast, it's like, oh, God, I'm dying. I need something to eat. <laughs> but I have not eaten anything all day long, and it's 1.30 now. Crazy. Well, I'm going to give me something to eat now. Yeah, I'm uh, heading back to the truck, and I tell you, I don't know who mowed these ditches through here, but it looks pretty good. Yes, they did a mighty fine job. A mighty fine job. <laughs> you guys, I kind of sort of forgot that uh, we were picking beans too, where Dan is. <laughs> I had to come uh, pick him up because he wants to move his truck to another location. And so I guess he's finishing up this little bit here. He's in the combine. I might better back up a little bit because he might dust me out. I don't know if y'all saw that video when we first started. I was out there in the dust. All for y'all. That definitely is not me because I'm a joker who don't be trying to get dirty. <laughs> oh, he's throwing a few beans at me. Yeah, I'm sitting in the truck. I can record from the truck. So he called me, told me what he needed to do. Now he's going down the road. Imagine coming down the road and meeting that. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I'm gonna go over here to the field where he's gonna go to next with his truck. Yep, so he still has this field over here to pick and a couple of other fields on this farm. It needs to be bush hogged out here. And you know what? I didn't intend uh <laughs> This is this is how videos get to be long. This is how videos get to be long. Yep. <laughs> Doing some unexpected footage. But oh well. Maybe you'll it'll help you enjoy it better. <laughs> I'ma wait for him uh to bring his truck. Then I guess I'll probably be heading back to the side cutter. So I just dropped them off and I was looking at these ditches over here. These ditches over here need some attention. They need some TLC for sure. <laughs> when you get them beans off of them and it gets dried, they are gonna get it. They are gonna get the love that they need. <laughs> Remember how I was telling you guys that the state only mowed the intersections with the long arm cutter this year and not the ditches? Well, that right there, you guys, that is a long reach. Only a long arm cutter can do that. And so uh, that's what I'm talking about. They mowed the intersections and not the ditches. I want to show you guys something real quick. Check these pictures out. Did you guys see that? 1,500% more views? I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> Did you see the spike in subscribers and views? It's like unreal. Only God. And you know, God, he works in mysterious ways. That's so true. <laughs> I've been on YouTube for 11 plus years. And just this year, I got a thousand subscribers, right? But within the past month, did you see the spike? There was a serious spike. And you know how that spike came? 
through beaver damn videos. <laughs> and so I did a video this morning addressing the issue. You can check that out when you get time. God has increased my territory for a purpose. Not for Terrell to be glorified, but for God to be glorified. This platform I have is to win souls for Jesus. And I'm thankful for what the Beaver videos have brought in. All of you guys who have started watching and subscribing because of that, God bless you. And I pray that you'll stick around to watch more videos, videos that will include the gospel, videos that will include farming, videos that will include me riding my four-wheeler, and other things. But ultimately, winning souls for Jesus. And that will never change, like I said this morning. The Bible says, to whom much is given, much is required. So that means, no matter how big this channel may get, how many subscribers I may get, how many views I may get, Jesus has got to be at the center. And I can believe that all these years he's been prepping my mind for that. Because see, you know, we can try and do whatever we can do to try and get, you know, notoriety. But when God does a thing, oh, glory to God, hallelujah, he does it right. And he does it in the right season. <laughs> glory to God. So I'm, I'm encouraged. And I, I hope that you guys will stick around. Like I said, stick around for more to come. God is going to be glorified. And I appreciate the comments. I appreciate you sharing and liking. Like I, I tell people, you don't have to tell anybody to like something or share it if they like it. If they like it, they're going to like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if it's really likable, they'll share it. So, you know, I'm not going to tell people do this and do that. You do it according to your own will. Amen. This video has been long enough. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed <laughs> the video on today. You know me, I, I stay laughing because the joy of the Lord is my strength. <laughs> Glory to God. So, uh, as always, you guys stay blessed and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>